Today we're back on our overgrown cottage core island of Maple Bell and there's been some happenings. Oh my gosh. What is going on in here? Hold on a second. Biff, what are you doing to Sylvia? This is not okay. This is not okay. Oh my gosh. What did we just walk in on? Hey guys, it's Danny Bell. How are y'all doing today? Welcome back to the channel. We have been slowly but surely working on a brand new island on the channel. This island is called Maple Bell, and if you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. And to all of my dear subscribers, welcome back. We just recently have been working on the entrance of this amazingly fun and new fall style island of Maple Bell. It's an overgrown cottage core island. We've been collecting dreamies for this island. So for today's video, we're actually gonna be doing another villager hunt because if you just saw, Sylvia left. After those shenanigans took place, here are some updates on the island. I recently found Chief on a villager hunt. I really, really love him. I was so, so excited to find Chief. I hope y'all like him. Um, I found some really great villagers so far to kind of fill some of the first few plots. If you missed the first villager hunt, please check it out on the Maple Bell playlist on the channel. We were able to find the first three plots aside from our starters, and we were able to able to find some cuties so please check that one out we also like i said found chief i also found molly i think she's a really great staple for a cottage core island and yeah just super super cute i feel like she's a must have so i think she's going to be a great fit for the island um we also amiiboed in marty i had him for a suggestion from y'all i just think he's a really great villager to have a cute little cub and since he's a sanrio villager we needed to amiibo him in via the campsite so we've done that so we've actually had some accomplishments on this island here in the background. Here is the uh, villagers that we have on the island for the time being. So we do have some cuties. We're still waiting for Biff to ask to leave. So now that Sylvia has left, thanks to him um, <laughs> and the drama that just ensued, we do actually have an empty plot now. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing a little villager hunt to find our next cottage core dreamy. As far as these other cuties, I really like who we have. We were able to find Fauna, Bonbon, bon, and Anchovy for the first three plots on the island so I was really happy with those finds and yeah so we're just going to be looking for some new cuties I really like the suggestions that you all have been sending so if you if you uh, have some ideas on who you would like to see on the island I always always love hearing from y'all feel free to find me on Instagram at Peppy Crossing Play or leave a comment on the video of who you would like to see because we're going to be doing at least a couple more villager hunts here on the Maple Bell series I do love to hear your suggestions and really excited to see who we'll find. As far as dreamies for this particular hunt, I've heard from a lot of you that we really need to have maple on the island because it's Maple Bell. And I think maple all in all is just a really great cottage core style villager. So I think she's going to be huge if we could find her that would be great i'd also really like to see teddy i think he would be a really great villager we're sort of looking for cottage core but any of the forest type villagers i think would be great i also liked your suggestions of olive she's a super cute little cub so if we end up not finding some of these other dreamies i want to keep them in the back of my mind really any villager that fits the fall aesthetic color wise i think would be fantastic so we'll keep our options open and we'll see who we find today oh Oh my gosh okay not <laughs> oh my gosh peewee oh buddy i'm so sorry it's a no <laughs> yeah no definitely not um not looking good for the start here for the first ticket um we're just gonna get out of here definitely not looking for a gorilla <laughs> for this island so we're gonna keep going not who we're looking for Let's see next island island number two. <gasps> oh my gosh stop you guys, we found our first dreamy on the second ticket. Is this even true? Oh my gosh, y'all. What? It's Maple. We were literally just talking about her, you guys. This is amazing luck. I cannot even believe this. Well, I feel like we have to invite her. Like this is non-negotiable, right? I heard from several of you that Maple was top on the list and I can't believe that we've already found her. I actually was expecting this to be a super long hunt, so we're gonna invite her. We're gonna ask Maple to come and live on Maple Bell because she's perfect. Look how cute she is. <gasps> Look at her little bangs and her little eyelashes. She's just so precious. And I feel like her and Marty are just the cutest little pair. Like, so adorable. Let's go ahead and invite her. Move to our island, Maple. She's gonna be perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and get her all moved in. Now this sort of like changes our entire plan because I had planned an entire long villager hunt for us, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of change of plans. 
We do have more plots, so we're gonna go ahead, jump back to the island. I'm gonna go ahead and time hop forward, get her all settled and moved in. And then let's go ahead and put another plot down and we're gonna go for a longer villager hunt because I feel like since we were lucky enough to find her in the second ticket, I still wanna go for more hunting. What, what do you guys think? I think we should just go for it. That's definitely one of the benefits when you're starting out in the game. I know some of you, believe it or not, like, there's still a lot of amazing friends that we're meeting that are new to the Animal Crossing community. And when you're starting out in the game, that's one of the benefits of starting out in the game is you can just do another plot if you really want to. So we're going to go ahead and move forward, get Maple all settled in, check out her digs, and we're going to go ahead and do another plot and begin again with another hunt. So if we're lucky, we'll maybe find another Dreamy here and see who we can come up with. I'm really hopeful maybe we'll find Teddy. I really would love to have Teddy on the island. I think he's for sure like a must have. And then aside from that, like I said, we'll kind of keep our options open. If we could find Olive, I think that would be amazing. If we could find somebody else who has sort of fall tones, um, I think that would be fantastic. I'm just gonna kind of keep an open mind. I think Bo would be really cute, honestly. I know a few of you suggested Eric, if we happen to come across him. I really honestly love Eric. He's one of my favorite Animal Crossing villagers. We did have him on Honey Bell, which was a realistic city core island. He actually, if you missed that series, he was in charge of the Abercrombie and Fitch store. So I do love him. Um, we also had him on Polar Bell, which was the um, winter style, sort of a natural tundra island. So I'm not super, like, I don't have to, I don't think we have to have Eric just because we've had him on a couple of different islands. I do love him. So if we haven't, what? Oh my gosh, what is going on? I didn't know that <laughs> Maple Bell is like a heathenism island. Did you all see that? They were totally making out. Like, what is going on? The things that the loading screen catches. Am I right? Like the title screen. I. What's the craziest thing that you guys have had your title screen catch? Let me know in the comments because like, I don't even know what to do with these villagers. Like I've lost control, y'all. I've lost control of Maple Bell. I don't even know who's really in charge because it sure isn't me. Like that is so insane. Like I don't know what's happening right now. These villagers, you guys, what are we going to do? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to have to. Yeah, I just need a moment. I, I don't even know what to say about that. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and load in. We're gonna head over to Maple's house and check out her new digs. And then, like I said, we'll grab some tickets, place a plot, and we'll do a little bit more villager hunting. Yes, I'm super excited for this. Okay. Here's our new house, by the way. I did a little bit of redecorating. I have not done the interior of the house yet, but I'm really excited to kind of get things going on this island. What have you all been up to on your islands? Let me know in the comments what theme you're doing currently for your islands. I love to hear from you guys and what you all have been up to. <gasps> Ooh, I love her house. Check out this interior. This is super cozy. Hi, Maple. I actually really love this. I mean, I do plan on redoing all of the interiors like we normally do for this island. That's the plan. But there's a lot of items I feel like we can for sure keep in Maple's house that totally go with the aesthetic for the island. She's super cute. I'm beyond thrilled that we found her. I can't even believe that. All right, we're going to head over to resident services. Biff, your days are numbered, buddy. Just so you know, it's it's on you. I'm totally, I think you're the reason <laughs> that Sylvia left. <laughs> I don't know what happened in that house, but I'm just saying, I, she left the next day, buddy. She totally left the next day. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> All right, we're going to grab a kit here from Tom Nook, and we're going to go ahead and place it down. I've actually been placing the villager plots on the beach. I don't know if you guys do that. I find it to be a little bit easier just when I'm planning the island because it takes less space up on the actual island so that we have ample space to build and do our decorating and all of that good stuff. That way, as we're kind of designing it and um, doing all of the villager areas, we can sort of move all of the structures and houses back in as we decorate. So we're just going to get our kit, and we're going to head over to a nice space on the beach place our plot down and we've got plenty of tickets still since we only used two tickets which is so wild and then we're gonna go ahead and take to the skies and hopefully we can find another villager yes this looks perfect okay love it I'm so excited so like I said we're looking for any type of cottage core cutie that we can find for the island anybody that really fits the fall aesthetic I really love the idea of having um, even Shep I really love Shep honestly I do think that it would be cute this is gonna be mostly a sort of overgrown foresty type of island but I don't know maybe there's some way we could sort of 
mix Shep into the into the island. Maybe if we did a small, very, very small sort of rustic area for Molly, um, like a little pond area, I think Shep would be just so darn cute. I really love him. So he would be fantastic. I wouldn't even mind like a cat, honestly. I love cats. So I think that would be super cute. But yeah, we'll keep our options open. We're going to hop on the plane and see who we can find today. Let's see. So if you missed the last video, we actually worked on the entranceway for this island. I really had a blast doing that. So if you missed that, check it out. Or if you're new to the channel, I just wanted to formally welcome you and say I'm so, so glad you're here. We've been having an absolute blast. We do a lot of build videos on the channel. I also love to do um, island tours and we'll be doing more of those coming up here soon. So if you have a stellar Animal Crossing island, be sure to check out in the description of most of my videos. You'll see you'll find a request form for submission for consideration i always love seeing what you guys have been up to so i will be getting to more of those soon i promise i'm really excited to see what you all have been up to who's this oh apollo hi buddy oh i love him have y'all ever had apollo on your islands i really love him a lot i just think he's so majestic and i mean who doesn't love a bald eagle he's just so cute i really love him i've never really quite had the right theme to justify taking him, but I feel like one day, one day I will. All right, next island. <gasps> oh, it's a duck. Is this Pom Pom? Pom Pom, we just did an, a Happy Home Paradise build for you, Pom Pom. Why are you not over on the HHP island? I mean, I know she can be in both places at once, but we did a Barbie build for her. We just did a Barbie build for her. I really like Pom Pom. But we have Molly, so we're gonna leave her behind. All right, next island. Let's see who's here. Who is here? <gasps> oh my gosh, is that Rodney? <laughs> Hi, buddy. Oh my gosh, are you not the cutest little thing I've ever seen? He is just so funny. I know people have mixed feelings about Rodney. I personally think he's kind of, he's pretty cute. He's really quite cute. I know that a lot of people have been hating on him since the beginning of the game, but he's my husband's favorite villager. And I know I've said that before on the channel. He has like this whole amazing space for him and his island. And yeah, Rodney is very popular in this household. Savannah, hi. Oh, I love her. Highly recommend Savannah for anyone who's looking for a lovely normal type villager, especially if you're doing something that's sort of like a grassland theme. She's fantastic. All right, we're gonna climb for this one. <gasps> Be still my heart. Oh my gosh, Audie. Oh my gosh. My love, Audie. I cannot even, I'm really sad because I feel my heart is breaking right now because I feel like we're gonna have to leave Audie. Audie, oh my gosh. We just took Chief recently, and so I feel like we can't have two fox. I mean, she's a wolf, technically, but she's a fox. Oh my gosh, I'm so sad. I love Audie. She's one of my favorite villagers, but I feel like she's a little bit too summery to take back for Maple Bell, so we're gonna leave her behind. And Sherb, oh my gosh, this is amazing. <gasps> Sweet buddy. Oh, look at his little sweater. He is just the cutest thing ever. This has been an amazing hunt so far, and I feel highly guilty leaving him behind. Oh, it's a tragedy. I can't even. Who is this little cutie pie? Who are you? Robert. Oh, look at him. His, his little smile is just the cutest thing. I love him. Oh, if we were going to need a frog on the island, I would totally take Frobert. But we're going to leave him because I'm not necessarily looking for a frog. So we're going to keep going. Next island. <gasps> Who's this? Oh, a bear. Who's this? Charlize. Ooh, fancy. I like her eyelashes. You have the most beautiful eyelashes, my love. Well, we're not going to take Charlize because I'm not really looking for anybody that is, like, green. I feel like she's a little bit too vibrant. But it's a good sign that we're seeing Bear because I'm really hopeful we'll find Teddy. Oh my gosh, Bianca! <gasps> what the heck? We had Bianca on Everbell. Oh my gosh, if you guys watched that recently in the last island we did, we did a Lisa Frank styled kids core island and we had Bianca and she was like the superstar of the island. Next island, who's this guy? <gasps> I like him. Ooh, he definitely fits the color palette. Let's go say hello. I'm not sure that we're going to take him because I'm not looking for an alligator for us. Sly. Ooh, I think he's like a um, jock type because he's talking about survival. I like him a lot. 
Okay, I'm thinking about this for a second, but I think we're gonna leave him. Um, I, I guess I'm torn. I wouldn't necessarily say no completely. I just, I don't know. I feel like we need to stick a little bit more to the cottage core vibe. All right, next island. Let's see who's here. Oh, an anteater. Wow, wow. Who's this? Um, it's definitely gonna be a no, but you know what? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. <laughs> I always feel so guilty leaving them behind. Do you guys feel guilty when you leave the villagers? I honestly do. I feel so sad. They all deserve to be taken and given homes. Oh, gosh. Okay, no. <laughs> I mean, he deserves to have a nice island to live on, too, but it's just not going to be mine, <laughs> sadly. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What is this? This is like an Everbell reunion. Pinky. We had Pinky on Everbell, too. It's sad that she doesn't remember us, though. Oh, that makes me so sad. Pinky, you don't remember us at all, dear. That makes me so sad. How does she not remember us? Oh, Pinky, I'm so sad about that. She totally forgot us. That's desperately sad, you guys. Next island, let's see who's here. We're gonna climb again for this one. Who is this? Soleil. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I'm not going to take her, but she's cute. She definitely fits the color theme with the orange and yellow. But we're going to keep going. Who is this? Oh, another bear. We've been seeing a lot of bear. That's a good sign for Teddy. I like her. She sort of has like a hippie vibe. I really like that. Um, just She's a little bit too summery, I think. I feel like her coloring is very bright in spring or summer, that sort of thing. I feel like if you were doing something that was summery or like a festival, like a summer music festival island, I don't know if that's a thing, but I feel like she would be fantastic for that. But we're gonna keep going because I think we need to keep our options open. Next island, let's see who's here. Oh, it's a little hamster, is this Hamlet? He's cute, I love his little hair, he's just adorable. We're not gonna take him, but yeah, he's pretty darn cute. We did have Flurry on Polar Bell, and she was very adorable. I think um, Apple would be really cute to have. Right, next island, oh my gosh. Ew. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. I'm not really a huge clown fan. Pietro, I'm so sorry, buddy. This villager hunt, you guys, it's really just been something. You know what? The only clown on this island right now is me. That's how I feel. Really and truly. I'm so sorry, Pietro. It's a no. <laughs> We're just gonna have to get out of the plane and get out of here. Oh my gosh. Next island. Who is here? Oh. You know, this is not looking so good. We're just gonna turn and go. This is just... Turning out to be a real disaster. <laughs> it started out really good and now I'm really second guessing my choices here. Oh my gosh. Antonio, no. Oh my gosh, Wilbur, get us out of here. Please load the plane, buddy. Keep it running. How many times have I told you to keep it running? Please get us out of here. He's following us and he's gonna come after us. <laughs> Please, let's just get out of here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a no. All right, well, we're going to head to the next island, and hopefully things will start to look... You've got to be kidding me! You've got to be kidding me right now. Is that who I think it is? Just... Y'all, look look behind my... Sh over my shoulder. Is it him? Is it him? Oh my gosh, it's him, isn't it? Oh my gosh, let's just get out of here. We can't escape him. Like, what the heck? I really have a hard time with the duplicates, truthfully, because I feel like we work so hard for our Nook Miles, and I really wish that there was a better way in the game to avoid getting duplicates on villager hunts. That's really frustrating. Who is this cutie pie? Okay, well, we're not looking for monkeys, but I actually... Oops, I didn't mean to put his fire out. I'm sorry, buddy. You probably worked really hard to, to build that fire, didn't you? I actually really like him. I like him a lot. He's one of the 2.0 villagers, and I'm a fan. If I think if I ever did another jungle island, he would probably be on it. <gasps> Stop! Oh my gosh! It's a kitten! <gasps> we have to say hi. 
She's so cute. Pearl. Y'all, I'm in love. Oh my gosh. <gasps> She's so cute. Look at her. She's perfectly fall colors. What do you guys think? Do you think maybe we should invite her to live on Maple Bell? I know that we've been kind of looking for Teddy specifically on this hunt. Oh, she's doing the little the, uh, emote. Okay, I think that does it for me. Like, I'm really thinking we should invite Pearl. I don't know about y'all, but I really, really like her. Look how cute she is. <gasps> she's a little calico cat. Oh, okay, I think we should invite her, guys. How cute is she? I just really like her vibe. I think she goes really, really well with the fall aesthetic. Let's invite her to come live on Maple Bell. I really like her. I think she's going to be perfect for the island. I'm not entirely sure what we can do for a build for her yet, but I think she's going to be perfect. No pun intended. I mean, I really didn't think that one through, guys. Perfect. But yeah, she's so cute. I really, really love her. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am for our two new villagers for our new island. Um, I'm so excited. We already have Maple all moved in, so we're going to go ahead and head back to the island and get Pearl all moved in so we can check out her new house and what her interior looks like. I think she's going to be amazing for the island. So if you guys have some ideas on what you would like to see for her yard ideas or how you would like to see her um, kind of woven into the island as far as decorating goes, let me know in the comments because I always love to share these islands with you. And if you have some ideas, I would love to hear from you. All right, let's head back over to Maple Bell and let's see what her house looks like. I'm really excited. Yes, it's it's official. Pearl is moving in. We're going to go ahead and time hop. We've actually done a lot of time traveling on today's video. I try not to time hop too much in the game, but admittedly when I'm doing builds and villager hunts, I do get a little excited sometimes. So we're going to jump to two days out and check out her house. Yes, I love it. Look at the aesthetic too. I love it. It's perfect. I love all of the golden and orange tones. It's sort of like a rust color. It's really going to fit in perfectly. I honestly don't even know if we'll need to change the outside of her house. Let's pop in and see what it looks like on the inside. <gasps> Ooh, I really like this. Hi, Pearl. Oh, she's this kitten. Her tagline is kitten. She is so precious. I really love her. I hope you all, you guys are just as excited as I am for the choice for the island. We actually do have a couple more spots left for villagers. So we will for sure be doing one, maybe two more hunts on, the, on this particular series. So I'm hopeful we can find Teddy. And if you guys have another suggestion for who you would like to see on the island, let me know in the comments for who you would like to see for our other spot on the island. Yeah, because she's just super cute and I'm really happy. I think she's going to be really great to have on the island. So we'll have to come up with some ideas on what we can do for a build for her area once we get her all settled in. Yes. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this villager hunt. I hope you're enjoying the Maple Bell series. If you have missed the first few videos, please be sure to check out the Maple Bell playlist. We did an intro for the beginning, checking out the brand new island, as well as the first villager hunt and the entrance build, if you missed that one. We're going to be doing some more island tours here coming up in the next week or so, as well as more builds on Maple Bell. So if you're looking for some fall inspo, please stay tuned and don't, don't miss it. I'm really excited to share those with you. Let's take a look at the map real quick here so we can kind of get caught up and see who all of our cute villagers are that we have. Really loving this lineup. Biff definitely is going to have to go, unfortunately. He's kind of the one starter that we have left here on the island, and I'm sort of patiently waiting for him to ask to leave here so we can do another villager hunt. And we have one more spot left for a plot that we can place down, so I'm really anxious to do that here in the next few weeks as well. But other than that, really looking forward to building up this island with you guys, doing an overgrown fall cottagecore island. Just as a reminder, you can find me on Instagram at Peppy Crossing Play. I always love hearing from you guys. It really, truly does brighten my day. And I just love bouncing around ideas with you, whether it be builds or just seeing what you guys have been up to. It's been really awesome getting to know you guys and seeing what you all have been up to on your islands. If you enjoy this type of content, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. It really, truly does mean the world to me and it helps our little channel grow here on YouTube. All right, guys, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Wishing y'all an amazing day. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one.